Hello everyone, today I want to share my Toma build and team compositions with you. As always, I start with the build, then go over the team compositions and show some Abyss gameplay at the end. Here's Becca. I'm going in! Animal hyperstink, head to the chase! Before we get into the guide, I'd like to give a little disclaimer. This character was a pretty big disappointment for a lot of people. The game gives you a character for free, Zhang Ling, that has a higher pyro application rate and her elemental burst skill does unironically three times as much damage. It also doesn't have any restrictions, you press the button and it just happens. Toma still requires you to do normal attacks to trigger his burst skill, which also kills some synergies with characters like Ganyu. The one thing he has going for him is a shield on his elemental skill that is actually decently big. I say this because I don't want to bait anyone with the intention to progress their account in a meaningful way into building this character. If that's what you're here for, I suggest closing this video and forgetting about this character altogether. However, if this is your favorite character ever or something like this, this video might provide a different build than the one you probably expect. My guess is that you expected the exact same build as Zhang Ling, you definitely can use him like that. I link my guide on her below if you're interested, but like I said, Toma is just way worse at it. So I tried to find a different niche for him, and as you see, I didn't really build any attack, uh, barely any crit rate and crit damage, and very high elemental mastery and energy recharge. The reason for this is I intend to use him in an overload comp, and overload is an elemental reaction that only scales with elemental mastery and the character's level. So you can ignore all the stats like attack, crit rate and crit damage, and this makes this build kind of cheap, and you can use a lot of leftover artifacts, which is a big plus in my opinion actually. As for talents, the elemental burst skill is the most important one, then the elemental skill and you can ignore the normal attacks. As for constellations, constellation 1 and 2 basically only increase the uptime of your elemental burst skill, constellation 4 restores some energy, and constellation 6 buffs your character's normal charged and plunging attacks for 6 seconds after using one of Toma's barriers. As for weapon options, I chose the Favonis Lens, it has a chance to generate some energy, which actually helps quite a lot because Toma has very high energy cost. Otherwise, the Dragon's Bane is quite good as well because it has elemental mastery as substat, and as you know, this build is very much centered around that. If you want to go complete budget, you don't even need to level up your weapon, in which case the weapon choice doesn't even matter that much because this build, like I said, doesn't really care about the base attack. So if you want your regular pyro damage to deal some damage, you can choose to level up your weapon, but it's not a requirement. And now for the most interesting part, the artifacts, we already covered subsets earlier. As for main stats, if you are very budget, it is definitely triple elemental mastery. It is the highest overload damage, but if you have some other offensive substats, attack, crit rate, crit damage, your regular pyro damage isn't too bad, so you could consider a pyro damage bonus cup, which is maybe higher overall damage, but like I said, definitely lower overload damage. As for team compositions, it's the usual one main DPS, one healer, two supports. As always, Bennett is just the preferred healer, but anything works. Toma is obviously your first support. And we want to build an overload comp, as I said, so we need an electro main DPS with a pretty high electro application rate. So something like Lisa would even work, but your best options are probably something like Raiden Shogun, Yae Miko, or in this case, I'll just pick Kiching. And in your second support slot, you can pick an Enemo character to lower the resistances, like for example Sucrose, she also buffs your elemental mastery, which is definitely the plan we are going for, or something like for example Kazuha or Venti. Otherwise, you could also pick a second Electro character, like for example Fischl or uh, Beidou. And now for the gameplay, he is actually really easy to use. You just do your whole elemental burst skill rotation with your Bennett, Sucrose, whoever you have, and then you just activate Toma's elemental burst skill and switch to your main DPS and start applying the overload. As you see, it hits, it's hard to see for overload damage, they are 6.6k, which is quite decent actually. Considering we actually decently uh, barely invested anything into this character, 
And for now, I'm gonna leave you with uh, some Abyss gameplay. Unfortunately, Abyss as a time format is very much centered around high damage, so this character unfortunately is a little bit of a liability, so this clear isn't too fast. Alright, we made it to the end. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this inspired you for your own bits. Stay tuned for more videos. Until then, have fun and bye bye.